This goes for beginner artists and pretty much goes for anybody in any community. Why do you have high expectations for the internet? Why would you immediately assume that somebody who does not know who you are at face value would respect you or care about what you have to think? These are the questions I've been asking the art community for a while. So before I get on with the beginner artist topic that I wanted to talk about today, I will like to hear your opinions on these questions. So smash that like button and leave a very respectful comment in the comment section if you wish. So my advice to weak-willed artists. Now, I don't know if the title is going to change, but that is kind of my idea. And people might be asking, what does that mean? What is a weak-willed artist? Well, in my opinion, it's an artist that expects that every single person in their comment section is going to be a delight to speak to, someone who's going to be an amazing person. And then they get devastated when they find out that some people are mean, some people are just straight up rude. The devastation could stem from just being sad, maybe being a little bit disappointed, to quitting your passion. I want to make sure that there's another disclaimer here that I do not support harassment, but this is going to be pretty harsh. If you don't want to hear my personal opinion, by the way, this is my personal opinion on um, dealing with criticisms, dealing with people who dislike you, who dislike your art, to deal with people who are just incredibly rude. Um, if you can't deal with me being harsh, just click off the video. But I do feel like a lot of people need this, and I do think if you have this sort of mental mentality, you have this sort of point of view, then it can really help you, and you'll literally be unstoppable if you just don't give a shit about what people think. Of course, saying don't give a shit or stop caring is easier said than done, but I still just kind of want to get my thoughts out about this topic, and uh, hear me out. Now, usually I don't really care about these topics because it's like sort of innate for me to even know this stuff. Like I was taught like at a young age to not expect shit from anybody and to not take shit from anybody. So when I see people online who are quitting art because people are hating on them, I'm just like, this could have been avoided. Artists should know that being on the internet, you're totally anonymous, which means they have nothing to lose by saying what they think or by insulting your art just to bring you down. To whoever or whatever artist that was blissfully unaware that that was just the true fact of the internet. Since its inception, since it's been created, I would just like to tell you now. Nobody cares what you think. Nobody cares what your opinion is. And nobody, for the most part, really is going to respect you if they don't know you. Such a popular, um, such a popular saying is that respect is earned, not just immediately received. And very recently, I've seen a lot of people forget that fact and forget that it's so difficult on these online platforms to earn the respect of people you don't even know, you don't even personally talk to. The exact same way they can't gain your respect. So if you start on equal terms, why are you going out of your way to give them the power to hurt you? So here, let me give an example. Random commenter hops on your most recent TikTok video where you're drawing your character. They say, your art is ass, delete this shit now. Are you gonna let that ruin your day? I mean, me personally, I wouldn't care because I don't know this person. They don't have my respect and I don't expect their respect. I would also like to remind you that the block button exists. The delete comment button exists. You're allowed to do that. You can also turn off your comments. I don't care how much pride you have, but if you're not willing to do all those things to prevent yourself from having a mental breakdown, then it's on you. Now, me personally, I don't delete these comments. I don't remove these comments. I keep them up and sometimes I even respond to them. I mean, of course, I have a different sort of idea on it because I have like a content brain and my brain is literally just around like trying to entertain the people I'm talking to, trying to make them happy, make them laugh. But it's not like I'm expecting every joke to hit and my friends to be slamming their heads on the concrete floor laughing. Also, harsh warning, but I can see a lot of parallels between art and comedy. If your comedy is shit, then people are gonna call you out for it. If your art is shit, then people are gonna call you out for it. I feel like that should be the sort of expectation for people. And in my opinion, getting shit for your art isn't a bad thing. It just tells you what you need to improve on. And these snot-nosed idiots are gonna be in my comments. They're gonna be like, well, well, art is relative. And same as comedy. Comedy is relative too. You don't hear the biggest comedians complaining when their joke doesn't hit. 
I think they have a better look back on it and it's simply the fact that he must have made a mistake. He must have made a joke that just wasn't funny. So he fixes it later. And you don't see people jumping into the defense of the comedian saying that, oh, he didn't do anything wrong. Of course, unless they're diehard fans. Now, I do want to clarify that this sort of like comedian sort of um, analogy only really works as long as you're an adult because most adults are comedians. I'm not gonna lie. Most adults are the people who are going to stand up. So if you had like a 15 year old kid come on stage and start making shitty jokes, well, a lot of people aren't going to be as mean as you see in some stand-ups. But even then, most kids are aware that if they're doing stand-up comedy, they're going into an audience of a bunch of people, they know that they are in the line of fire. They know that if they make a mistake, then they're going to be getting shit for it. And I feel like artists should expect the same thing. Yeah, you can have one person who's laughing at your joke, but if 20 other people aren't, well, your joke might have a problem. And a lot of people will have that sort of bias, or a lot of people on TikTok will have that sort of bias. Well, the artist wasn't problematic, they didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, neither did any comedy artist who showed up on stand-up, they just had a bad joke. Same thing with some artists, they just had an art piece that did not appeal to a lot of people. And it was pr pretty much made aware. If you can't handle the fact that people are more willing to say their opinions and to express their intrusive thoughts when they're completely anonymous online, then you need to get off the internet. You can't survive on the internet knowing and caring about every single thing that somebody says. Somebody that you don't know says. Now that the pep talk's done, what's something that can help your outlook on things? Well, I can give you some methods and some of my methods that I used. Number one, looking at what I went through and comparing it to other people. Now, <laughs> now I know this isn't, isn't essentially the most healthiest thing to do, but it personally helped me because like, I had a horrible outlook on life, bro. I was depressed and then I watched Evangelion and I was like, bro, these characters are going through way worse. I should not be complaining. <laughs> but um, like I watched Tectone. I do really like Tectone's content. Uh, thing with him is that he got into a bunch of drama with Genshin content creators. He was talked shit about. He was basically excommunicated from his entire community, even though he really didn't do anything wrong. And um, he had to live with that for years and just had to like sort of accept it because nobody was going to believe him. It was his word against a bunch of other huge, bigger creators and he couldn't really do much about it. Bro went through a few suicide attempts and he is still kicking. I would love to be a demon like that. And um, yeah, I just sort of get inspired and be like, well, um, a simple hate comment isn't as bad as millions of people thinking that you're a manipulator when you aren't. So two translation and i'm gonna have two parts of this okay so the first translation i would say is translating the hate comments into something good which basically means that um hey this person is talking shit about the way i drew my hand the way i drew my arm do i actually have a problem with my arm or is this person just trying to get to me right you would look at that you try to translate it and turn it into instead of them saying you know your arm is shit you can translate it and be like hey, maybe I need to improve my arms, maybe I need to improve my anatomy a little bit more. That's something that I do, and that's something that a lot of other people do as well when they're in a situation where they have a lot of eyes on them. The second translation would be translating that hate comment into content and literally like replying to them in a video being like, who the f*** you think you talking to, you little ass bitch? You can't draw, try drawing like me, you're gonna die, I'm your daddy bitch. You can essentially make them pay their penance like Mama Owl. Honestly, when it comes to online stuff, there's a certain degree of responsibility you need to have when it comes to, um, you know, sending stuff like that to people. But when somebody initiates the contact first and initiates the disrespect first, well, you can disrespect back, bro. Like, all is fair in love and war. Lastly, I would say pull up with logic. Because a lot of the time these comments don't even have logic and a lot of the time a lot of these comments have no idea what art is or how to do art and they bring up stuff that's totally unrelated to what you even need to improve on. That's why you need to specify, um, or not specify, but you need to understand who's actually trying to help you and who's not, right? And that's very difficult when you're talking to people online. It's very difficult for me to know if my chat's just trying to fuck me up in a video game or if they are trying to help me, but uh, in a lot of cases, if you can use your context clues, if you can look into your own art, make sure to ask, um, make sure to ask people around you what they think about your art. Make sure to ask people, um, who you trust about your art and definitely don't go to the internet first. If you don't want hate, if you are not expecting hate, 
then don't go online just ask your family ask your friends ask people who you trust ask people you have respect for because a lot of the time uh people don't respect you online and all the time people don't respect you uh, respect you online but um thank you for watching the video i appreciate it please like comment give me what you think on this um whole situation uh i have a few situations that i do want to continue talking about later on and related to art and stuff like that so feel free to subscribe if you want to of course only if you want to and um yeah this video is a little bit harsh uh, but I do like being harsh in my videos, and I hope y'all, um, sort of like this direction that I'm taking as well. Uh, I'll be responding to comments for the first, like, two days. I always try to. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the time I just, <laughs> I just get lazy and, like, don't. But, um, anyway, life update for anybody, uh, who is still watching, because I have a lot of stuff going on. I'm gonna get, be getting videos out a lot less. Uh, I have, uh, advanced classes to the brim, uh, this school year. Uh, I am locking the hell in, and, uh, I don't want to fail, so I appreciate the amount of support that I've been getting, and, uh, I'll see y'all later.